Viewer discretion is advised. Kickstand, everyone. I am Emerald Storm. Dabaldi is Nick, and today we have Culture Talk Bev. Culture, with culture. Epic, with the epic beard. I know. Yes, man, that's what we do, man. Culture Talk Bev and Dabaldi, you know the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you ever do anything, like, were you doing YouTube or anything like that before caffeine? So, I stopped doing YouTube first, and it was, like, battle rap oriented, like I said, mm -hmm. always. But once, um, once URL sound with caffeine... It's like, let's go live, let's take it live. And this like has really been on my focus right now. Like I haven't really been even worrying about YouTube, just straight caffeine in there, honestly. Awesome. So what got you into that in the, like in the beginning? In the battle. Um, got me into battle rap? Mm -hmm. Oh man, well, I've been into battle rap for like forever. Cause I'm a hip hop fan first. So you know that like battle comes with hip hop. Mm -hmm. But like literally battle rap, I say like Math versus Iron Solomon, no, and like yeah. from from there just went down a rabbit hole. You feel me? I've been watching URL since URL started. Like when they used to upload a round per day on YouTube. Oh wow! Like first event, Math versus Rex. Like I've been in battle rap forever, so I just honestly just been waiting, just been like, I sh I was supposed to been blogging. You know what I'm saying? Like I should have been doing it, but it's all about timing. Mm-hmm. So oh, absolutely. did you ever do like the smack DVDs or any of that? Um, DVDs, yeah. My older brother used to buy DVDs and I used to watch them. Cause I'm 28, so you know I was like young in that era when the DVDs was coming out. But I had an older brother, so you know he held me down in that in that department. Nice. That is so awesome that you had a brother that would do that. My siblings were kind of mean, so. <laughs> I've been rocking with battle rap up and down. I probably took like two, three years off, then came back to it. I still kept up, always so kept up. What? So you started doing the YouTube thing with the being totally centric on uh, battle rap. It, are you keeping the same kind of format that you were doing on YouTube? So actually, when I first really started on YouTube, it was supposed to be centered around battle rap. Mm -hmm. Like I was just doing more like a broad a general on um, podcasting but like just like as it changed and like my brother Frico and Mano started coming on and they both battle rap fans like it started becoming centered around battle rap really when I started streaming on caffeine is when I was just straight focused on battle rap but just recently I just went back to like a more of a standard podcast form and I'm just doing audio of that and like YouTube and caffeine I'm keeping that straight on battle rap definitely so no, you're not deep. Whoa, oh shit! Sorry, you're not deviating at all from battle rap on your channel. Nah, on caffeine, not really. Rarely, rarely, I talk about another topic. You know, something comes up, like with the avocado situation. I touched on that and like race and battle rap. You know, mm -hmm. that's but that's like, part of it. That's part of battle rap. So yeah, yeah, like we've had oops on with us a couple of times. So exactly, me, it's you know, something yeah. important. Yeah, we yeah, definitely like, oops is into like social issues and all of that type of stuff. Like. It is more, it's becoming more part of battle rap. Like now you got the woman, like, and you know, equal pay and all that. Like mm. that's becoming a part of battle rap now. So whatever comes from it. There are all honestly. cultural issues as a, as a whole society that we need to address. And in the microcosm of battle rap, they really, there's a really a chance to, to bring those up and really talk about them. No, definitely. There's, there's definitely voice. Yes. Yeah, and it's, it's not like, a quiet voice. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. I mean, and when they bring it up, you know, they bring up topics and battles kind of like negatively, mm -hmm. but it, you know, it sheds light on there. You go from there, you know? Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think, I know everybody has something to say about what happened with Saga, but, but the power behind what he was trying to express right there was. His, oh, his message in a. It was phenomenal. Oh, in the battle? Uh huh. Where he had, where he had the actor Ryan, Ryan Gold, Gold yeah. and everything that that was so powerful, and and I know he just hates that. I the message lived; it did. I feel like the exactly message did like live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, that's true. Uh, you know, so those opportunities are there, and this is a massive audience to to shout that out to. 
I feel like he was so focused on that part of the battle and trying to get get that message up. (laughs) Like, that messed him up in the first two rounds. That is exactly, you know, when we we had him on, we talked to We've all said that. I think ever. yeah. yeah. He even, I think he even said that. He was on with us. He, uh, he said that some of it was psyching himself out and some of it was that he felt his message was so important and it, and it kind of, you know, there was, and then, and then this big stage that he knew that yeah, was going to have such a huge volume mm-hmm. of viewership. And so it was all of that into one and the pressure just kind of built on him. Yeah, that was supposed to be the one for him. Well, I think, I think he's going to, I think he's, he's doing better now. I think, I think he'll end the year on a good note. Yeah. He's supposed to be coming back. So, Mm -hmm. uh, so do you interview any of the battle rappers on your show? So I have one interview. I'm trying to do more. I have one interview with, um, easy to block captain that's on YouTube. And that was right after his battle with, um, Bonds, right mm-hmm. after he lost that one or whatever nice. we spoke about that one and then yesterday just yesterday i had on first lady flames on my live stream awesome oh beautiful yeah so i'm definitely trying to get more into um interviewing other battle rappers lady flames was dope she had a lot to say a lot to say like well, her knowledge is up there i don't think i know her she just I, battled I at this you. she just battled at this um last Last Queen oh, of the I Ring event on caffeine. I wasn't feeling good, so I, yeah. I missed a lot of it. I'm waiting for them to come out on the. App. She battled Vixen. Okay. Yeah, it was a really good battle. She's about to, you about to start seeing her name a lot more. Definitely, well, we'll she showed to, love. We'll have to, we'll have to reach out to her. Reach out to her, cause yeah, no, yeah. Definitely. If you if you need help getting in contact with anybody uh, that you have yeah. that that you're not quite sure how to reach out to, yeah, hit feel us free up. To hit us up. All right, definitely, I definitely. <laughs> Definitely and keep whoever, up with you that. Know, if we don't have, if we've never contacted them, you know, we just go to people like Anwar and say, "Hey, who is this? Hey, how do we? How do we get? <laughs> how do we get, how do we get in touch?" With <laughs> yeah, that's what I just do. I just DM, you know. Eventually, mm-hmm. somebody will respond. Right, they do. And Eventually, that's, 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 that's exactly the key. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. A lot of young people <laughs> What's up, Otter? don't realize that I send out hundreds of requests and might for, get, you know, a couple of OKs. For 99 mm-hmm. no's, you get one yes, and it's worth it. Hey, Otter. That's all you need. All you need is one or two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and it all goes from there. So, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that you've got a pretty good rig since you were started out doing, uh, YouTube where you had to render and stuff. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I bought a new um. I had to buy a whole new computer for this caffeine though. Really? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it for seems the live, weird. for the streaming. Oh, you'll find that uh, it feels if you resource putting, heavy sometimes. If you start taking your streaming and record it and editing it for YouTube, you'll find yeah. that's a lot better now. If you haven't since you bought a new machine, <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Yeah, no, I um, I recorded my interview yesterday with Lady Flames. Definitely recorded that. I haven't edited it yet though, but I'm dropping down on the tube. Definitely. Yeah, you'll be surprised how much faster that rendering goes. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, Nick, uh, when. Right before we moved into the studio, Nick and I both got new machines, and of course he's got this monster machine to do everything with, right? Oh yeah. Um, and I, I went all went, out. I went crazy. Oh my god, yes. Uh, he did, and uh, he went from like thirty minutes to an hour rendering a video to like a small video, like fifteen minute video, to <sighs> almost nothing. Yeah, I, mean, I can I can render. I rendered a two hour video in under fifteen minutes. That's crazy. So it makes a huge difference. And, you know, your cam looks good and everything and your sound. I need that little green screen behind me. That's what I need. Um, (laughs) Well, they're like, they're like, they're like 15 or $20 on Amazon. They're really, really cheap. You got the, (laughs) you got like a stand. Not Uh, to ask for the sauce, but I I got an extra, I got an extra (laughs) long, uh, shower rod it goes from one end of the room all the way to the other and we have the and whole I wall put it, yeah i put it on little little circle hangers and just so uh-huh. I can slide it around like like i could take yeah. it and then we've got uh oh yeah man, we've got yeah, to fix beautiful. some of our uh, <laughs> we've got to fix some of our soundproofing uh those those sticky things don't work well don't use those guys don't gorilla <laughs> yeah, all the, the way man the... gorilla tape <laughs> yeah i'm definitely trying to set up the 
that's my next that's my next you know investment is gonna be like setting up the studio type of thing uh bet so what I, what's your like what's your end game what do you what do you plan on doing on caffeine you want to just go all the way with it or you just I mean, yeah. concentrate more on youtube Right now, I'm trying to go as far as I can on caffeine. You know, I'm trying to get the double C's. I'm trying to get the blue C's on caffeine next. Okay. You know? And then I'm really trying to, like, build the YouTube off of caffeine mm -hmm. type of thing. You know what I mean? People subscribe to the YouTube off the caffeine. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I'm having a lot of fun doing the caffeine, like, doing it live. And the interaction like, is a dick. Yeah, thing. interacting, just talking to the chat, recording, not doing like the sitting down, just like playing, like, all right, record, stop the record. Mm hmm. No, yeah, I mean? nothing, I like nothing beats it. Welcome, Desmond. Nothing beats, nothing beats the interaction. Um, yeah, talking to the fans, come on. I wouldn't even. And I feel like I'm there. That's all we <laughs> yeah, do. Like, that's even... our, that's our biggest thing is talking to people that, that are, you know, in the chat because. What's up, Des? It's a connection, especially right wild now. Wild bear. What's up, wild bear? That is so necessary. Definitely. So, do definitely. you have any experience? Like, did you did you learn to do video editing or any of that stuff? Are you winging it like me? Hey, wild bear. Honestly, all that's just been like natural, just practicing with stuff. Like, I was in high school. We was recording battles. Like, I was editing that on a computer, you know, them old websites, mm -hmm. free trials, really just all myself. Everything I do, honestly, is all in-house. Like, I got people that make shirts. Shout out to Cash, you feel me, for this shirt right here. Nice. I got people that make music, beats. Like, we do everything. Like, try to keep everything in-house. My video editing, everything. That's awesome. That's good that you, you took those skills and... I wish on I had on your own. I wish I had people to do video editing for me or make yes. beats for like I do I do <laughs> beats. I do yeah. the beats. I do all you the do tech. Her. I do the I'm website. I do the I do the video editing. I do I run the the broadcast. Like everything is over here. Like everything. Yeah, he uh, produces doing everything. everything. I mean everything that's, that's dope too though. Everything, everything that's is behind you. the scenes that's administrative, that's what I do. Okay. Yeah, Heather Heather like reaches out to people, schedules yeah, interviews just like this one, and then uh, Rayana makes us look really pretty. So, Rayana makes <laughs> us look fabulous. I'm dead. Yeah, when it comes to like the streaming, if I'm like by myself, I'm really doing everything by myself. But usually, my brother comes stream with me. My brother Freako, Mayno, they come stream with me. If I just got like the friends in the crib, you know, we just all stream together. You know, Talk everything's about a team, rap team effort. And That's yeah. awesome. Definitely. So have you ever uh, thought about branching out to like other topics of discussion besides battle rap? I mean, yeah. So I, I got the podcast audio. I got an audio podcast that I upload on um, Spotify and everything. Waiting to get the first episode on Spotify now, but I got a website. I'll send it to Wait, you guys. Do you, do you do that separately from your, like you record yes. a separate podcast? Yeah. Oh, so okay. that's okay. separate so from caffeine. <laughs> So you're doing caffeine and then you do YouTube and you yes. also do a podcast. Holy yes. fuck, man. I got like a whole separate podcast that I'm like not even on caffeine. We set up the mics and just, just solely go. do the podcast. What's oh the what's the podcast yeah. called? It that's called Culture Talk Podcast. Culture everything, Talk Podcast. Everything okay. culture talk. Okay. okay. Everything culture talk. Caffeine job, is really hungry. just what I say the name of my caffeine show is I call it Siphon Battles. That's what I call the name on the yeah, caffeine a good name. show, Siphon Battles. My podcast audio is Coach Talk Podcast, and I'm just Coach Talk Bev, you know? Mm -hmm. But the podcast is like barely no battle rap, bro. It's like I'm talking about everything from like politics to like. Oh, okay. Relationship problems. Yeah, I'm going to need a link you know, to that. I like listening I to podcasts because that's basically yeah. how our show generally runs is basically like a podcast, except we include every, you know, all the viewers in, into what's yeah, going on. It's, it's take a take a radio show, podcast, YouTube. And just kind of mix it mix, all together. It, it mix it all together with TV up, and live interaction. Yeah, and that's, it's crazy, That's man. what we can we do. And that's what caffeine is built to do, and that's the amazing thing. Yeah, I definitely want to branch out on caffeine eventually, but just, like, been censoring on battle rap just to build. You know what I mean? Mm hmm Definitely. But the podcast, I like to talk about everything. I like 
we record the podcast. As soon as I'm done with the podcast, turn the computer on. Now I'm streaming on caffeine. Like, wow. That's how I do it. Just try And to do you work a regular, a regular yeah. day job too? And I got a real and job to too. I work in a school, an elementary school. Hey, are you a teacher? What do you do? I'm so I'm like the I'm like the second teacher in the classroom. I'm like the one that's with like the one specific kid that's like a special needs kid. Oh, oh you're a okay. para. Yes, I'm a para. There you I'm go. a exactly. certified para as well. Yes. So I do that. <laughs> How many people that's know dope. what that is? <laughs> that's hilarious. So, <laughs> so now I didn't now say I the name because I didn't so know every, if you knew. <laughs> now I gotta explain to everybody what it is. A para is is the, the teacher that works with special needs children whether yes. they're you know have like a physical disability or a mental disability um, it just varies from school to school and classroom yeah. to classroom mm -hmm. some schools like in oklahoma they have special classes that are just for kids who are emotionally disturbed oh, texas okay. doesn't do that texas puts them puts all kids in in one classroom so in so oklahoma, that's how mine is i'm in new york it's like that that Oklahoma has fantastic stuff that they do uh, in the larger school districts with uh, special education. And I was fortunate that we um, were, our son was in the ED classes and I was there all the time. And the teachers and the special ed uh, director, they all just asked me to just go get my para and since I, and, and just work for the school. So I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's basically exactly what it was for me, honestly. Just a lot of people. Aren't people that do that do job are they're saints, man. They really are. Uh, <laughs> it is not an easy job. Some of it's the not at all. Are, some of the children are wild beyond your like anything you could possibly think of. Like some of them get real, real wild, real and crazy. And some of them will just break your heart. Yep. Listen, it's crazy. Like I do that in the mornings. Come home and it's like. I just try to muster up the energy to just do it like oh, this, yeah, that's like the personal training. hobby. It's, it's crazy sometimes, honestly. But at the same yeah, time, as, you, a, man. as that's, a para, that's not you don't thank have you, to do thank all, you. The, all the meetings and all the... <laughs> no, <laughs> and all the it's crazy meetings. though. Like <laughs> my school be trying to, it involves us in that. So like I be having to do the meetings now. I don't know if you guys know, but like in New York right now, we're remote. School is remote. Right, right. So since we're working from home, they're like trying to keep us busy. Like they're making sure and all those mm -hmm. meetings. Like it's crazy. We'll keep you paid, and because especially for paras, paras are too. hard to come by, and a school will try very hard to keep good paras. No, definitely that's so. A that's fact. good that they're taking care of you guys as much as they can. That's awesome. Yeah, when I tell people that, they're like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> No, we like we the know, two extremes. We well. Like, <laughs> I know I'm. It's crazy. The connection is crazy. That's awesome. That's so so awesome. I, I think it's it's one a wonderful job. Uh, Texas has different requirements. Mariachi than Oklahoma. say culture talk for the kids too. And, yeah, right. Marichai. That's my wife right there. Oh, oh Marichai. Okay, okay well, Marichai. Hello, wife. Welcome. Uh, Texas has different requirements than Oklahoma, and when we moved down here, I just. They want paras to have a college degree. And I was like, why? I was certified para in Oklahoma. And okay, whatever. They want, What's in up, Texas, Lafayette? they want substitute teachers to have a college degree. A college degree. Right. Yeah, I think out here they want the substitute teachers to have a college degree. Paras, I, yeah, they don't, you don't need a college degree, but you get paid more when you do. Yeah, I'm sure. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Oklahoma's cheap, though. Oklahoma's a broke state, so they're like begging anybody. Anybody, that anybody that'll in. do it. Like, <laughs> they were, they, like, with the paras, they were struggling to find enough paras. Like, nobody That's wanted crazy. to do that job because it's, it is, it's heartbreaking and it's a, it's hard. it can be it's heartbreaking. Hard. It's a hard job. Sometimes, you know, you, you, you just it's an immense amount of stress it can be it yeah. can be and it's hard not to bring it home so yeah bless salute you to you man, man bless for you for yes. that because that's that's not that's to not bring that that's baggage not home with you yeah absolutely uh so that's so much you're doing in <laughs> do you, and you're wanting to get to do partner you sleep? on caffeine <laughs> do you sleep do you ever sleep <laughs> I try, man. That's, I, that's all I do is try to get the right amount of sleep. That's, that's key. That's a okay, key okay. thing, I especially do, if you want to work. 
Man, I can do just me. six hours tonight. I think I can make it. Six, four <laughs> hours. Yeah, four I, hours I will be okay. Like, <laughs> all I try to hit is like four to six hours, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm good. Cause I work like an hour, an hour away from my job. Oh gosh. But now that we in the house, you know, I'm about to go crazy on the caffeine. Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah. Because, <laughs> because it'll change the aspect of how you're doing things. Exactly. Absolutely. Like I nah, just. A little more energy, a lot more energy, actually. So do you, you said this was your wife here in chat. Do you guys have kids? No, no kids, no kids. Okay, well, that makes it easier then. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Having kids makes it harder. <laughs> if, if the roles were reversed right now and I was your age and I was doing this, inter like I was being interviewed, I would have yeah. had like two of them running around behind me right like around in around diapers. Around. Two, yep. three, minimum. Yeah, I got kids. Yeah. I, we yeah, we got four. Four? four? What's the what's the age range? Uh, the oldest will be twenty five in January, and she has two wee bitties, and the okay. youngest is sixteen. Oh man! So we're almost they grown. Gone. <laughs> yeah, they're grown. They grown. They're grown. You got no them all out of there already. Yep. It That's is. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It. I'm sorry. I'm just really happy to hear of people that that are not ashamed to talk about doing a Paris job. Our grandson no, is autistic. Not. And so yeah. we know that's something that our daughter's going to be dealing with is, is the, the special needs at schools and everything. So yeah, yeah but they, def a lot of those kids come with a, like some of the, they have some of the coolest personalities. Like when it's kid, crazy. Yeah, definitely. Like those kids will ask you things like what's ego plus one. Yeah. yeah. You'll be like, what? Yeah. Um, all I could like, think I of was know. a really good golf score. Um, they looked Eagle at me plus like, one, that's what? birdie. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't even know that. No, it's true though. Like all the encounters I have with autistic kids, like, <coughs> it's like it's just one thing that they know so much of. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's crazy. And then, and then the kids who are nonverbal and you could just see the frustration in their eyes and they're crying because mm -hmm. they're trying to tell you something and it is so hard, but yeah. So thank you again for being willing to thank you. be thank open you. about that. <laughs> Alex, Alex said, who is this? It's Coach of Talk Birth, man. You don't What's know? Up, Alex? How you don't know? <laughs> I'm just they I'm just trying to like so figure out how people don't know who do y'all go to any other stream besides this stream. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I'm I'm always on that page, man. I'm on like almost. He said no. He oh, doesn't man, go on no other stream. Wonder around caffeine. There's lots of good stuff. There's all there. kinds you of good streamers to. out there, man. This is what we're doing. We're finding good streamers and we're introducing them to everyone else. You gotta but wander around a though. bit. As soon as I started streaming. I like ran across you guys and I seen that you guys used to just like put a whole bunch of different people on and I was like, I'm getting on that. I don't yes. know if you remember, but I used to tweet like, yo, used to tweet you guys my on my live stream when I was first starting. Yep. I'm like, let me know, man. Let me know you guys let me get on. <laughs> well, we're glad to finally have you on, man. Yes. Yeah, and no, we just salute. we schedule out very far in advance yep. most of the time. So it's You see, like that was that's the type of time I'm trying to get on. Like, salute for the follow, man. But that's the type of time I'm trying to get on, like, way more scheduled, you know? It helps a lot with uh, balancing everything when you, when you, and, and, you know, we use simple tools like Zoom and Outlook just to help us because, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated. It's just yeah. time management. Right. And so, believe it or not, Zoom and Outlook can be your two best friends to do that. Um, and I think I think you're headed in the right direction, man. It everybody uh, that I've talked to that have that have watched you, they've been entertained. So yeah, I try, man. It's fun though. I. I'm entertained while I'm doing it. That Literally. I think is <laughs> that's that is the key. You have found the magic formula because yes. if you don't love what you're doing, especially reality, with this. Look, the reality is, if you, you play, you won't it make right, it if you don't love it. They entertain you, and that's what they're here for. <laughs> the, oh, the viewers. Exactly. The viewers are here to, that's why I. That's why I stream every day. So, they, all right. 
All right, clowns, make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, though. You know, I, I love talking back. I see that you guys do the, um, let me ask you a question. I see that you guys do the fan battles. Yes. Yeah. I we watched them, the, um, so my far. boy. Level, Levels uh -huh. was on there, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, he used to join my stream a lot. I seen him on there. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. I was like, that's why I fuck Levels with Pigstand, tried. man. He, he tried, he tried. to keep going. So, so that's, yeah, dude, he kept that, choking, but. He kept going. That's, dude, that's more than I can say for some people, right? That whole thing actually started out with, with. Uh, Dub and Dub, Black. 361 yeah, Dub. Dub started all yeah. that. Yeah. And he was like, hey, would you, would you do like, would you host somebody battling? And I'm like. Yeah, I guess so. Like, what what battle rappers are you trying to get to battle? I can't buy. I can't afford that. <laughs> can't and he was like, no, there. no, just like fans. And I, I was like, fans. So just like fa any fan that just wants to try. And he was like, yeah. We like, and so we right. ran. We ran with it. And we put together a production. And uh, I uh, don't know if you've watched the the YouTube of it, but it it turned yeah. out pretty good. Yeah, it looked good. It looked good. And I had people coming on my um. When I was inside, when I was streaming, people was like, yo, you saw the pick stand battle? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm people there. Were talk worry. I didn't think anybody would talk yeah, about it. Yeah, people that. were talking about it. People were dead telling me to go look at it. And so, like, because I show battles mm -hmm. while I'm streaming. Oh, you can if you want to. Yeah, they was telling me to show your battle. Yeah, we've. Opened, yeah, we don't care. We have, if you want to show it, show it. Blanket permission <laughs> yeah. on, on. We that don't monetize off thing. of none of that shit. Yeah, so. so. <laughs> it's, it's entertainment. <laughs> Take it. I mean, come on, let's be real. That's entertainment. Easy made that the best entertainment oh, ever. Too. <laughs> Easy had me rolling. Yeah, Easy's dope, man. So you guys, how you guys built the relationship with him? Um. So we reached out to him to interview him as a battle rapper. Right. Um, and, uh, then he, while he, he was on. on the interview with us, <laughs> Dub's in the chat going, Hey, ask him if hey, he'll, ask, ask him, him if he'll be hey, a judge. Hey, ask him, ask him if he'll, he'll be, be a judge. judge. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's hilarious. He, he saw the chat and he was like, what is he talking about? So, <laughs> so we, we, you know, we told him what we were doing. He was like, hell yeah, I want to do that. And then when it was over, he was like, when's the next one? Yeah. This so, is, so apparently, so I, this I think is we got to judge therapy. if we wanted. Yeah, this is easy therapy. <laughs> this is where he gets to make fun of the fans that have been fucking with exactly. him all this time. I definitely feel like after you guys had him on is when he started going like hard with the caffeine yep. streaming. Yes, and he's he's a uh, cyan partner. Yeah, he now, partnered up. And he's he partnered is, up. Yeah, exactly. He has really amped up his game, and I think he's he's really. From the from the first stream that I saw to where he is today, in such a short time, he has really amped up his game. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, he's he's definitely. coming back on our show next week. Next week to do next week. A, yeah, I I don't know. I don't even know if I can call this an interview. We've already interviewed him and hung out with him. Like I don't know how but many every, times. Every every new partner we do an <laughs> interview with. What's up, Slither? Uh, you know, we, we bring them on and try to, you know, anybody who hasn't met them to introduce them and encourage people to give other casters, broadcasters a chance right. and, and know who the partners on caffeine are and, you know, spread that caffeine love all around. Cause that's yeah. what it's about on caffeine. Yeah. Every, every time he jumps on our, like comes into our channel now, the is, Hey, dickheads. <laughs> Everybody loves that dickheads. Yeah, I'm trying to see what's up with like the gaming on caffeine, though. Honestly, what kind of what kind of gaming are you into? Maybe we can help you out. I mean, I play Fortnite. You know, I play Jump Force, and I know that caffeine supports Jump Force. It's more know, so like fun, though. Jump Force. Do you do it exactly. on like, con like console or on the computer? I do it on console. Nobody's playing Jump Force on, on live stream right now. I'm like, I want to start That's that a, up first. It, when, you, when you see nobody doing it, that can be one, a good thing, or two, a bad thing. Yeah. Just mm. depends. Remember, caffeine's a small community. Or you could yeah. start like it. a revolution of, yeah, you like a new know. revolution of, of people that suddenly right. want to play this game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, a lot of times uh, casters will team up, uh, uh, partners will team up with casters. So, you know, get to know some of the gaming partners like yeah, definitely. Uh, Ben and uh, McMahon TGP, McMahon TGP, B5N, they all play games. Uh, Trevor, uh, Divide, Divide and, and Conquer, Conquer. Uh, yeah. Remy, playing with Remy, they're all gamers. Um, and then you have, uh, what is it, Fob? Or no, what's that kid's, is it Fob? 
What's the uh, kid's name? Yep. Fob Deep. No, he is. No. He's not playing games. Fop. He's F O P. F O P. Oh no, I don't. I don't he's think a I've seen he's him. a partner, and he, I think he does almost strictly Fortnite, doesn't he? Yeah, I believe so. We have a couple of almost strictly Fortnite partners. Yeah, I got it. I definitely got to get in tune with one of the, with some of those people. Then. So you're um, you're doing consoles at uh, Xbox or PlayStation? Yeah, Xbox. Xbox. Oh. Oh, that's easy with. Uh, it's a cakewalk for you, if man. You just it's easy, easy for OBS. No. Yeah, um, well, it's easy for your actually, computer. You, have you don't need computer. a you don't need a capture card with it. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. So you can uh, just like stream your Windows console 10. to your computer because it's Windows 10. Mm, that's crazy. So if you need help setting that up, Nick's done it with our kid before. So yeah, holler at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. We're gonna definitely talk about that. I feel like it's like two worlds on caffeine. Like when I scroll, there it's is. like battle rap, a whole bunch of like battle rap and podcast type of style, and then it's like a whole bunch of gaming. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like two completely different crowds. It's crazy. And before that, it was all gaming and us. Yeah, and us. yeah. We were the only talk show for like two years. <laughs> oh wow, that's very very crazy. Long time. So you guys is really like official, like one of the first. Uh, n- as uh, far as I, the the I wouldn't first say the people, first. the longest running, the longest people that have been on caffeine that are partners is, um, Calf and B Five N. Mm, they have okay. both been here. They've been way here since the beginning, else. like the beginning, the beginning. the beginning. I think Calf was literally like the first person to ever stream on Caffeine before there was monetization or anything or anything on it. Yeah, I don't know, Otter. So, how long has Calf been around? You've been around a while. Calf has been. I don't around, know if Otter can hear me or not. I don't know. Uh, Otter's yeah, been crazy. around a long time too. Yeah. Uh, but as far as the oldest ones, and then I think. Divide and Remy have been on like and and uh, Dusty were all on like. What's up, Brian? Several months before us, like six months before us. Yeah, yeah. I see more and more people coming on though, like famous people. Like when Battle Rap first started, and I got on the Caffeine app, I seen like Offset on it and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I was mm-hmm. like, I didn't even know it existed at before that. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, Terry Crews is on caffeine. Terry Crews uh, has been on caffeine since just about the beginning. Yeah. He is a That's big crazy. supporter of caffeine. The game, the game has been on caffeine. Uh, Lil Xan has been on caffeine. That's crazy. Uh, I'm trying to think of everybody. Yeah, I guess Aston it didn't, Kutcher. I, I, I don't think I don't think it worked very <laughs> yeah, well Aston with Kutcher. Lil Xan's uh, drug habits and. Oh, that that stuff. didn't work yeah, out the, too the, well. I don't think it worked out too well for him. Um, yeah, he was he was too throwed. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, the Trainer. guy that was the brother on iCarly, he's What's friends up, with uh, Zand. Zand is one of the caffeine employees on the Caffeine Channel. And what does he do? He streams too? No, he just hops on with Zand sometimes. Oh, they're yeah, so they're friends. They know each other. Uh, I'm trying to. So I'm, there's I don't been know. lots there's of so many. really there's so famous many. people that have popped in and out of caffeine. Uh, and then there's like a, a like a huge group of like. The table actors, game. actors that have not, that are not like A list actors, like they're not in big movies or anything, but Comedians. they're in movies. Yeah. Uh, the they Dungeon like the, Run is a caffeine production. That's a a live D and D game. They mm-hmm. have uh, everybody that's on the Dungeon Run is an actor, uh, and has been in like several TV shows, commercials, and stuff like that. Wait, and what is that? The Dungeon Run is a live D and D. Dungeons and Dragons, the role playing yeah. game. So they, so, yeah. they like tell the story. They got a dude game. like being the dungeon master nah, telling the story. And then they they got the act people out playing. their characters. Hold on, that's on caffeine? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every Wednesday ah. night. Probably you miss it because it's on, uh, it starts while, about the About while the same time URL. Primetime is on. Mm, Primetime is that's on. why. Primetime but they takes, put nah. all the, all the episodes are on the caffeine uh YouTube, YouTube channels. So yeah, you, you when when it's it. when it's not COVID, their setup is crazy. Oh my god, no, I've got to tune into that. That sounds set. crazy. They have like a big ass table with a huge like topographical like three D map. The, the, and little, they'll like, they use three D maps characters around. And, and everything. It's really cool. Nah, yeah, or they'll I've use flat maps. It's insane. It's really amazing. It's stunning stuff that they've accomplished. What up, Chelsea? Not right now because of COVID, they're all working from home. And somebody has created a digital display of what's going on. So a digital rendition yeah, they're trying to of level each it of the characters. 
as they make their moves and everything and all the actions that go with it. It's really actually way cool with what they've been doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely make your way around and like, Check talk, out yeah, some I definitely out some gotta start watching gamers. some more stuff and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of good content on caffeine, and a lot of the content, a lot of content creators just like don't really promote themselves at all or do anything like that, and so they just kind of fly under the radar, and they're really good at what they do. But they're just not. But they they don't want to like they just do it because they have fun doing it. They're not really trying to like turn it into a job or whatever. But yeah, it's like a two step to promote for caffeine though. Since it's like knowing like people don't have the app, you, you, you got to promote yourself. About yeah, yes. then you got to get them to like download. Somebody said, is, is that Drake? Is that Drake? Oh, <laughs> oh, Look at that compliment. <laughs> Dude, hold up. Yo. Are you being sarcastic or are you being I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that OD, so I can't. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I should have said. Like, oh my God. You're being dead serious. You don't know what Drake looks like. <laughs> Yo, people are so funny, man. It's crazy. Oh, See, you know stuff, me, dude. stuff like that, man. Stuff like that. He gets called Drake all the time. I bet oh, he that's does. awesome. I wasn't yeah, gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I flipped. I when I first saw Easy go live, I was checking him out. I thought Easy was Chris Rock. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Nick, you gotta funny. check this guy out. It's like Chris Rock. I swear to God. <laughs> they call him that in battles. Oh, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. <laughs> so That's you work you wanna work towards partner. Um so let me let us give you a little bit of a, a tip here. A big part of being partner is being interactive within the caffeine community as mm. a whole. That is a really big part of it. Yeah, um, like not not score. just the numbers. That's like the anybody can hit the numbers. That's not on the requirement list, but that's yeah. part of the that's, caffeine discretion. That's one of the things that they will definitely uh, look, at. look at when it's time to, you know, once you once you're hitting all the numbers and they start actually looking at you, that's are one of those things. Are you are you interactive? Something for the community. Are you? Yeah. Is that like in a Discord or like just in general? Yeah, all the way all, all over the place. All over the place. Yeah. Twi like. Twitter um, on caffeine in the Discord. Yeah, yeah like you just see, got you see Ledge and um, let's talk battle rap. You know they're partners now. A part of mm -hmm. that up, is, Anthony. You know they're making a big. They're a big part of uh, the battle rap culture as a whole, and they're making yeah. a splash on that. So it's not necessarily that they've been interactive in the caffeine Discord. They're they've been being interactive, interactive in the battle rap community. In the battle rap community mm. as a whole. So those okay. kind of things. Uh, really help so it's a lot of promotion and a lot of you know making a little bit of a splash about yourself and and having people that really help you make that splash yeah i mean i definitely got my feet into the battle rap world so do you go to battles when they're yeah i mean before all of this you know i used to be in a whole bunch of battles man i mean you can see me in the back of a few battles i don't know if you guys know about we go hard the battle league I've heard it's of like, that one. I've heard of it. That's like where chess came from. A lot of people yeah. go from there to um URL. I'm there. That's like a second home over there. You go there all the time. My brother Frico battles there or used to battle there. You know, not really battling right now. Did you ever battle? No, not me. I'm more like I'm more like a behind the scenes manager type of type of guy, you know? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's I what I do. That's how I first got really got into battle rap. Like in terms of like going into the events and stuff like that, but I've been to a bunch of URL battles, man. What's your uh, favorite I, event? The, my your, favorite the event favorite that I went, went to, to that you attended. I went to the very, very, very first Born Legacy: Tay Rock versus JC, Charlie Ooh. Clips versus Sue Surf. I have heard about these battles. Damn, yeah, like that's that like, like that's a that's a top notch that's card. Old. Yeah, yeah was, a lot of people ooh, still talk event. about those. We've had those particular battles recommended to us before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. so that was definitely my because that was back then you had to be um 21 to get into it's battle like events. Oh. So that was when I first turned 21. I got to go to my <laughs> first battle event. <laughs> you you straight to the, like straight yep, to the big game. Straight. straight to it. Shortly after I turned 21, it became 18 and over. 
I was like, come on, man. Right? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I <It> swear. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. But, yeah, that's just really it right there. So who is your favorite battle rapper? Top, I, I don't Oof. like to do favors. Top, top five. Top five. Top five. No order. Um, I mean, I gotta say Tay Rock, man. Shout out to Tay Rock. He's been like one of my favorites for a very, very, very long time. So I gotta keep him in there. Sue Surf, been one of my favorites for a very long time. His music is also like great. Fuck with Sue Surf. So we got Tay Rock and Sue Surf. Mm -hmm. Gotta get my boy Chess in there, man. Shout out to the Bronx. I gotta get Chess in there. Mm, it always gets it, it always gets a little tricky for number four and five, you know. Yeah, because you never know who's watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with pretty, like that's pretty close to the truth, right there. <laughs> that's a fact, and it's like it's so many of them, you know, and like it's always changing. It's always changing. I gotta get my boy Danny Myers in there, man. I fuck with Danny Myers so much. I think he's super dope. And I gotta get my boy uh oh, number five. I wanna throw a new, I wanna throw somebody new in there, man. I'm gonna throw my boy Easy the Block Captain in there. Hey. I, I really enjoy Easy. I just I like hanging so, out with Easy. I don't I even care so if he does get in a battle or not. I win, just like hanging he out. He didn't with win a tournament, man. Oh, I was yeah. so pissed he didn't win the tournament. Uh we also love Bill Collector. Bill yeah, Bill Collector's. Is, oh yeah, Bill Collector's dope. Bill Collector's he is dope. so I think I think we're He's more just influenced by the people that we hang that we've hung out with outside of, you know, them battling. That that is where we've had so much fun is like talking to Easy and talking to Bill. Those those two have been two of the most fun battle Oops. rappers. Oops through. had all of us crying. He's been on Oops. a couple times. He makes us cry every time he gets on, man. He is I can only imagine, man. Oops versus daylight. Force, <laughs> man. He is a force. I yeah, Bill, Bill Collect is crazy. I think Oops is <laughs> actually thinking about running for office out there in Phoenix now. Really? That's dope. He should. Yeah. He won't What's up, go Uncle back Gramps? to St. Louis, but I, I, I read on Twitter a lot of people are, you know, encouraging him to run for office out there. That's crazy. Like the, the influence that battle rap is having now that a battle rapper could go run for some type of public office. Yeah, he you know was, what I mean? Well, he held office in. Uh, St. Louis in in Missouri, he was a state yeah. representative. Yeah, he was the yeah. battle rapping state representative, which That's is cr crazy. Like crazy. <laughs> face, ta face tattoos and everything got mm -hmm. voted in. Like that's powerful. Uh, and uh, I guess a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of painful stuff happened in St. Louis, so he moved out to Phoenix. And I, I know that he's kind of been on the fence. He's been very active in the activism, but thinking about getting back into the politics, he's been. A, a really hesitant because of the dark place it took him to before and everything that happened. Well, before. it was it's an uphill battle. It is very. Yeah, much. I, I bet. But not he's only been that. doing the protests and all that for a long time. And I wait, know is, he went through the is he out there with Warren? Uh, Warren Stewart. Warren Stewart Jr. and he in Phoenix? No, wait, is he? I thought Maybe. he was They're in friends. I can't remember now. Um, if he is, I wonder, that's like, Warren Stewart is also a huge activist. Um, and he's really amazing. Uh, Bruce put us in touch with him, and it was we got to interview him, and that was also very powerful and moving. These guys use their voice for the positive so well. That's dope. <clears throat> and it, it's it's just phenomenal to watch. Actually, that came from uh, I think Raya got in touch with Warren Stewart Jr. We didn't. Was it? Yeah, it wasn't Oops. It was Raya. Oops, knows him. Yeah, they know each other, but uh, okay, seems like Raya right. knows everybody. Then, well, Raya <laughs> has done a lot of political activism within oh, okay. Texas, so um, she keeps up on a lot of that stuff too. You know, because there's she's down in Houston, and you know, there's a lot of tension down in Houston that we don't see so much up, up here in the in the Tarrant County area, but in Houston, there's a lot. Where exactly is that? Like uh, Tarrant County is Fort Worth. So it's like northern Texas, and Houston is like middle. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, south. Yeah, south. Like, it's down there. It's all. It, yeah, it's. Yeah, I've been to Texas before. One time, 
Where'd crazy time out there. Oh man. My brother had a job out there. He worked in like San Antonio, I think, or okay. maybe Dallas. But we went to Dallas and then I went to like Houston and then I went to like South Padre Island. Oh yeah, hey, Padre. South it. Padre's crazy, man. Oh my God. That was <laughs> insane. <laughs> Were you there on spring break? Was it spring yeah, break? Yeah, it was like a oh. spring break. Oh, you could not have, God, was, you could like not have gone. one place to avoid during no, spring break. No, you could break. not have gone at a better I mean, if time. Like if, you, if you were young, that was perfect. Yeah, yeah it, it was a different time of my life. It was a way different time of my life. I probably was like 20, 19, maybe. That's the perfect time to go to. <laughs> yeah, I, that, I, that was I insane. That. I've never been back to Texas after that. I was good. <laughs> um. You were good. That was it. The one okay. time, just that's it. I'm never going back. Fuck Texas. <laughs> I think I had enough on South Padre. That is a lot. It's <laughs> yes. On spring break, South Padre is a lot to take in. Like, there's so much going on. There's so many, so much alcohol, so many drugs, so many naked girls. Like, it's insane. Yo, that ship was crazy. It was like MCV. Somebody says sort of baby, yes. not yours. Got it. Yes. Laugh out loud. Um, I'm not going to disagree with that. That statement is very true. MTV actually used to do, like, they would go, they would swap between, like, uh, Miami, and then they would go to uh, Padre, and they had yeah. people set up out in Cali. I don't know where at in Cali. I'm assuming LA. Everywhere somewhere. in Cali? The whole uh, I, I don't know where it was. I'm assuming beach. L.A. somewhere. They'd set up on one of the beaches out there. They had people down at Padre, and when they would do the spring break What's on up, MTV, Phantom? they'd switch between the places What's up, your where artist? they had people showing what was going on. Yeah, it was crazy. I swear that was my older, that was my oldest brother, my older brother, last hoorah. Like, he stopped drinking after that one. It was over. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Oh man, like I, I I'm, I'm like I thinking back. Totally see I'm thinking that. back when I when I went to South Padre Island, man. It was, it was I like woke up on the beach. I like, don't even know why I was on the beach. Like I thought I was in the, I thought I went to bed in the hotel room. Like it was, yeah. I had some crazy, I got some crazy stories from South Padre Island. Crazy. I'm glad I got to do that one time, man. We went across. We went across the border into Mexico because mm. I was uh, 18. I was too young to buy alcohol. So I went across the border into Mexico, bought alcohol, and then snuck it back across the border. And to come back, wow. Yep. That's crazy. All that just for some alcohol. But <laughs> it was a different time. It wasn't what it is today. I don't recommend yeah, that's true. anybody 90s. doing yeah, that. Doing now. Now. <laughs> I think that was before, you know, what was going on now. That border is crazy right yes. now. Oh, yeah. Any border. I went to Canada earlier. I think I don't even remember why. I think it was earlier last year. Matter of fact, I went to Canada last year. Oh my God! They asked us a million and one questions. Yeah. Wanted to know the food I had inside. Everything, like brother, mm. relax. We didn't even need a passport back then to go across into Mexico. You that just show them your ID. You just do your what? ID, drive over. Now we have to have passports. Actually, on the way in, they don't even check it. They just let you drive in, and then on the way back. But to go back you to, to the US, show, you just show them your your Texas ID. Or that was your it. United States ID. That's crazy. They didn't even a, blink at us. What a time to be alive. <laughs> yeah, now you got to have the, now they got to search your every part of your car. They got to put mirrors under it, check you, uh -huh. check the trunk, check under the spare tire. Like it's a parking. wonder anybody Inside. makes it through at all. With like illegal stuff, it's crazy. Oh, how they get it across. Like you know now? Yeah, I don't even know. How meticulous you got to be to go through. That shit is crazy now. Cause they check everything. Yeah, it's it is insane how the world is gone. <laughs> so I I know I know I I know we're getting close to our time. I have one more question to ask you yeah. though. For anybody new to streaming, what is your advice? And this is really great because you're still pretty yeah, new you, at it. You're, so. yeah, you're new in streaming, but you've also been around you've been streaming for a while whether it be yeah. youtube or, or your podcast or whatever so what what kind of advice do you give people who want to begin doing this honestly my biggest advice is consistency like just staying consistent like one viewer 10 viewers 100 viewers like just 
don't be in it for the views. Once you're in it for the views, that's when that's when you become compromised. Just stay consistent, you know, stay true to yourself. Keep them topics, what you know, you know, don't be up here talking about something. You don't know what you're talking about, man. You know, it's going to come back to you. And, you know, just believe in yourself, honestly. And just, like I said, stay consistent. I think that's definitely the biggest key is consistency. I Bars. Agree. Thank you. I that's, agree with that. that What's up, Slither? Perfect. <laughs> perfect. And I, and I love that. I love that concept of once you start being in it for the views, you're compromised. Yeah, because now you're not, you know, you're not, you're not being yourself. You're just you're doing not having whatever. fun anymore. Yeah, exactly. It's a job now. I got to remind myself of that every so often. Or I have to yeah. remind him. <laughs> but that's definitely, I mean, I feel like every streamer goes through that when you're like, oh shit. You, like, well, and especially when your income is dependent upon that. That too, you know, and definitely. So you get you get in this little crossways where you're like, oh my God, this is how we live. Like, I actually and... do need it, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try, man. I, I mean, it's definitely not my income right now, but I'm definitely working. I want it to become my income. Because that's how I know I'm reaching like a place that I'm working for. Right. Definitely. Well, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it is not what a person in New York City would consider a livable income to be a partner oh, yeah. at this time. It's but, not one thing in New York. You need more than one in general to yeah, be livable so in New York, I, I, so. you know, it's, <laughs> it's still a small platform, but the fact that we they have a partner program where they pay partners to begin with. That's huge. That's massive. You know, because the other platforms, you have to have subscribers and things like that. So, uh, I think what Caffeine's doing is amazing. Hold on, pardon me. Give me one second. Hey, no worries. <laughs> well, his mute works. Baby, get the phone. Get, the, get it. Get, <laughs> get the phone. Look, I don't want to talk to him. You talk to him. Sorry, I just had to. <laughs> so, so, something's outside for me. I had to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well, man, definitely. I appreciate you guys, man. I definitely appreciate you for having me up here. Well, thank, hey, thank you, you for so coming on. You can catch uh, you can catch Bev on uh, uh, Twitter. It's at Culture Talk Bev. Instagram at Culture Talk Bev. Caffeine TV at Culture Talk Bev. And pretty much just about everywhere, it's gonna be Culture Talk Bev. Everything is Culture Talk Bev. Culture Talk Bev on everything, man. Tap in a tap out. You know the vibes. We don't play. <laughs> thank you, so Bev. Much. Thanks for joining us today, man. It's thank been an absolute you, pleasure. I appreciate you guys so much. Definitely. Absolutely. Salute. Salute. You too.